God, Father Almighty of heaven, look down from your high sanctuary on your innocent Son, Jesus, sold and wrongfully betrayed into the hands of bloodthirsty men and given over to a shameful death. Look, O merciful Father, on your only begotten Son, that you may have pity on your servant. As often as that red blood of your Son speaks in your sight, wash me as often from every stain of sin. And as many times as you patiently behold the wounds of your Son, so many times open to me the bosom of your fatherly mercy. Behold now, O tender Father, how your most obedient Son did not cry out, Bind my hands and my feet, lest I should rebel against you. But how of his own free will he stretched out his hands and his feet and gladly allowed them to be pierced with nails. Look down, I pray to you, not on the brazen serpent hanging upon a pole for Israel's salvation, but your only Son hanging on the cross for the salvation of all mankind. It is no longer Moses who stretches forth his hands to heaven that the thunder and the lightning and the other plagues of Egypt may cease. But it is your beloved Son, who lovingly stretched forth his bleeding arms to you, that your anger may depart from the whole race of men. No longer do Aaron and Hur hold up the hands of Moses, that he may pray more perseveringly for Israel. But rough, rude nails have fastened the hands and feet of your only begotten Son to the cross, that he may wait with long suffering for our penance, and that he may take us back into his grace, and that he may not in his anger turn himself away from our prayers.